Well, howdy y'all. Handy Redneck here. Today is the 10th of January, 2022. Uh, it's been a, a good minute or two since I talked at y'all last. But we're going to have us a little bit of a follow-up on an experiment I've been running. Right here we got two containers of water glassed quail eggs. This one was, in the round one here, was started... Uh, uh, September of 2021 so they're a good four months old this one is was a uh, October 13th 2021 and they're a good three months old so we're going to crack these open I ain't opened them since I put them in here we're going to open these get us a, a whiff and uh, get us an egg out of each and have us a look that's why we've got the bowl and some quail scissors, egg scissors here we're going to see just how well these things manage to keep. Well, it don't smell bad. And we'll get one that's down a little ways. Alright, so this is a approximately four month old egg. Scissors ain't working quite right. Ah, there we go. Well, it looks tolerable. No off putting smell or anything with it. And there we go. It's a four month old egg. It does not smell bad at all. As you can see, it looks pretty good in there. You can even see the little, I don't know if you can see it, I can see it, but right over on the edge there is the little white uh, plastiderm. And like I say, uh, it don't smell bad, don't look bad. That's the four month old one, so... Um, the water it's in don't smell bad yeah I'm, I got some on my fingers as you can see um, I'm smelling it it don't smell bad at all so the four month old um, set that, well that looks pretty good so so far we're at a success um, since these aren't airtight containers I actually using this plastic on them to help seal them better so they don't lose a lot of moisture as they sit so again that's the four month old ones don't smell bad don't look bad I, I think I would eat it especially if I was using it in baking or something and then this is the three month old eggs and I can tell you right now we've had a, a, a problem with them Right now, we've got a floater and a blowout. So that one is definitely bad. Um, let me go get a spoon and spoon that out right quick. Well, this is just a fact of life. You know, occasionally you're going to have bad eggs. But in theory, all these eggs should be individually sealed, so nothing should be wrong with the others. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to dig down here a little bit and get one that's been completely submerged. Again, these it smells just the same as these four month old ones. There's not a bad smell. It's more of a um, stone powder smell. So, and uh, if you know anything about 
what we did when we water glassed, we actually used pickling lime, which is a hydrated lime, which is uh, powdered calcium, to actually water glass these. And then this is the the three month. Uh, it does not smell bad at all either. As you can see, it looks pretty good. We'll get it poured out here. And that one looks good too. So uh, that one looks a little better than the four month old one, but it is a month younger. And again, there's no off putting smells or anything. So if it were me, I'd be using these for, for baking right now. And I may here pretty soon start using them in some baked goods because we're at that part of the year where um, even though we are still getting some fresh eggs coming in, uh, the, they have uh, backed off on their production. So all in all, I'd have to say um, glassing quail eggs is doable. And if you can... Why not? Anyway, this here's been a Handy Redneck. I'll talk to y'all later.